meanwhile in Game Freak's office building. All right, you guys. Are you guys ready to release the new Generation 9 game Scarlet and Violet for the Switch? Oh, uh, not really. We don't even have all 1017 Pokemon in the game yet. And also the game is running pretty terribly on my developer kit Switch. Could we spend two more years on it? No. We must release it in the current state. We need more money. But sir, our fans will end up hating the game and they will likely ask for refunds on the first day of launch because of the current issues. We need to keep developing the game. I'm sorry, but this is not your choice. It's my choice. I am Sun Kazuishi and I say to release the game in its current state. But we don't even have all of the starters yet in the game. You're fired. Oh no. I lost my job because of me being right about the development issues. Does anyone else want to be fired? No. no. Then I suggest releasing the game in its current state that it's in right now. We need the money to make a possible generation 10 game in the future. We are a company that wants dollar. Okay, fine. We will release the game the way it is. We will fix it via DLC updates. Good. I hope the game will do well in the ratings. Release day, November 18th. 20th 22. My parents got me the latest Pokemon game on my birthday, so I will start playing it. 30 minutes into playing the game. Give me a sandwich. But I already gave you a sandwich earlier. Why isn't it letting me ride on Court I Dawn? I'm hungry. Give me a sandwich. Fine. I will give you another sandwich. Yum 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 yum. What? Why did my game crash after I gave my Court I Don a sandwich? This never happened to me before in Sword and Shield. I will do some research on my computer to see if anyone had the same issue. Wait, everyone is having the same issue as me. There's even reports of the game having frame rate issues, which is unacceptable for a $60 game my parents bought me on my birthday. Dad, can you come here please? What is it son? Dad, the game you bought me for my birthday is having so much issues to the point that it is nearly unplayable. Could you return it and give me a new game please? Sure son, I will return it to the place we originally bought it from. Man, this is the worst birthday gift I have ever had. Hey Mark, what are you doing? Well Derek, the game current Pokemon game that my parents bought me on my birthday had so much issues that now they are returning it to the store for a different game. I feel so sorry for you men, even I am experiencing the same issues too. I even returned my copy of Scarlet today for a full refund, I am planning on playing Rescue Team DX later. But anyways, do you want to have your birthday cake now? Yay, my birthday cake is ready. So guys, how is the game doing in the market and ratings so far? Not good. The game is suffering from so much issues and now nearly 80% of the players are requesting refunds for it. This sounds bad for our business and reputation. Egg, we can't consumers like our games. The graphics are miles better than Sword and Shield. But the game is not running properly and it is missing so much content in it. Why can't You're fired. We? Fuck this shit. I cannot believe I worked with a terrible company that rushes out games so quickly. He had a point though. Do you want to get fired? No. Okay, make some DLC that only adds content and doesn't fix any bugs. But sir, it will end up being the next WWE 2K20, in which got abandoned by 2K to make 2K22. I don't care, we are here to make money, not listen to fans, go do it now. Okay fine, I will. Alright, you better do a good job or else I will fire you too. Man, we can't people accept the way the game is- Hey, could you explain why you didn't include us in the new game? The ones that started your game franchise since Gen 1. Oh oops, our developers forgot to add you because of the dex reduction. Sorry sorry. Stop playing. You did it because you are likely going to add us in a paywall DLC, just like he did with The Sims 4 in which they separated DLC and made the game more expensive. No no, why would I do that? I would obviously add you guys in the game for free. Well, do you know when you are going to add us back in? You'll see, uh, uh, 11 months later. Alright, I added you guys back in the game. What's the catch? I put you guys in a paywall $35 DLC. 
I knew that was going to happen. You are nothing but a scumbag that melt the franchise to death. You must be stopped. Like Nintendo would care? You'll pay the price when the Nintendo CEO calls you on the phone. Yeah, go away. Who's this? I'm Shantaro Furukawa, the current CEO of Nintendo. I heard you were firing people who were concerned about the quality of the new Scarlet and Violet game. You even decided to remove content from the game, just to read it in Paywall DLC, which is a literal electronic arts move and is not tolerated. For this, I will end up demoting you from your CEO job, and I will be finding someone that's a better fit, and who treats the fans with respect. Oh shit. I am screwed. Indeed, you are screwed. Sunekazu Ashihara, you went from being a good respectful guy, to being a greedy man who doesn't care about the fans. I will fix the business practices. You got to be kidding me. 2024 Man, I am so glad that Shantaro Furukawa made me the CEO of the Pokemon company. I will give the Game Freak devs more time to make the mainline games, 5 years each game, and there will be more spin-off games in the works. There will be a new Poke Park for mid-2024, a Explorers DX remake for the 15th anniversary of the Mystery Dungeon Explorers games, and many more to come. I will make the Pokemon Company good again. I promise you that Shantaro Furukawa. You can call me Devin Johnson, the new CEO that will help make the Pokemon Company and Game Freak be better at making titles that the fans actually like to play. Stay tuned for the next Pokemon Direct in February 2024, in which it will show off a remake of one of the best mystery dungeon games, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky.